Hello everyone. My name is Ahmad Sami. I'm a diving instructor. Also, I'm an Android programmer. Today, I'm going to introduce to introduce you a new application, special made for divers. Application name is Diving Physics Calculator. This calculator made specially for divers because, as you know, not all of us are that professionals in mathematics, but we are good in another fields. So, for that reason, the application made so you can relax and answer a few or uh, you can uh, solve a few equation of the diving physics for example arch mid slow or pressure laws or another stuff like this we will start the application together diving physics we will click on the icon we will wait for four seconds So, this was just welcome screen. It's last for four seconds. Now, after the last the welcome screen, we have the menu screen to choose what law we need to use. First button on the top, it's introduction. We click introduction button, which gives you a quick introduction about the application. Later on, I will add this video at the bottom of this page. So you can watch it before you start using the app or you can watch it uh, if you want help in some point. Okay, now we will leave introduction page. So we will click on Archimedes law. Leaving. We start second button. It's Archimedes law. Okay, from now on, each page we will divide it into two sections first one will explain what the law is and how we can use it second section will be the law calculator so we will focus always on second section because the letters section you can read it by yourself and you can understand what's going on inside the calculator itself so let's go deep directly inside the calculator uh, it's very 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 important before you start using any of the calculators you have to read the question very well please read the question very well then you have to choose the parameters after that type the value that you want to use okay for example we will solve the next question together the question is you have an object that weighted 180 kilogram and this places 100 liters of sea water we need to recover that object to the surface okay so i understand now that i'm using kilogram and i use liters it means that metric system okay the object itself is in sea water is mean salt water remember choose the desired parameters first so i know that metric salt water i choose it after that, I know the object weight is 180 kilogram. I type 180. Then I know that the water volume that that object displaces is 100 liter. So 100 liter. After that, I want to know the result. I will click result. So now I know that the new object points is 77 kilogram and the object has a negative point. After that, <clears throat> the second part is I'm choosing what to do with that object. Do I want to lift it to the surface? Do I want to add more positive buoyancy or more negative buoyancy? So in that question we read already, we need to recover that object to the surface. So lift it to the surface. I choose it. Automatically <clears throat> will show for us uh, inside that square, if you want to lift the object, ta -ta 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 -ta, we'll explain what is going on manually if you would like to solve this question manually. Then I know uh, that the result is 77 kilogram. I want to send it to the surface. So the weight is 77 kilogram. I don't need to press calculate if I choose to lift the, uh, the object to the surface because it will be automatically calculated for us and will give us the amount of air that we need to add in the lift bag. 
so it will be surfaced by adding 74.76 liter of air I finished my question and I know exactly the answer for example I would like now to do another question I want to solve it receipt that will receipt all the formula fields now we have it all empty but remember before you start calculate read the question very well choose the desired parameters then uh, add the value or type the value where it is needed so now <clears throat> second question we will use imperial you have an object that weighted 400 pounds and displaces 2.5 cubic foot of sea water we need to sink it by 100 pounds so from that question I understand I'm using pound I'm using cubic so it means that I'm using imperial also I uh, I, I am in salt water just a second you have an object and bound this place is here. of sea water has been salt water so now imperial salt water first I choose them uh, object weight is 400 pounds okay now water volume it will be 2.5 2.5 copic result I got the result 240 pound the object, ha the object has a negative buoyancy I want this object to sink so more negative buoyancy then I choose the amount of it I want this object to sink with I need it to sink with 100 or by 100 pound then calculate so sank by 100 pounds weight of weight okay so that was a quick explanation of Archimedes law now we will leave Archimedes law to check the other uh, calculators <coughs> uh, pressure laws we will click pressure laws and pressure laws we have sev we have many of them so we start also with introduction dive uh, I'm sorry introduction law uh, that will explain to you what's pressure in diving, the pressure's measurement units, relationship table, like this. So let's go directly into the calculator of pressure and depth. Pressure and depth will show us the relation between the pressure and depth underwater. Also explaining what it is. Second one will be the calculator itself. So it's very simple to know the relation of pressure and depth every time you go deep there is a pressure so that what you want to calculate in this case also we choose I would like to know I, uh, I would like to know what will be my what will be the gauge pressure and the absolute pressure for example of 50 meter so I choose I typed 50 meters then I choose the desired parameters it will be metric salt water then gauge pressure 5 power absolute pressure 6 power will be also the same with imperial will be also the same with fresh water or salt water I would like to new uh, a new formula receipt then I choose for example let's say imperial salt water and we will choose 66 we're choosing 66 then we press gauge pressure it will be 2 bar absolute pressure it will be 3 bar reset the formula then we will swap to go to the next one pressure and volume okay also you will have the same okay read the text please go deep into the calculator we will do an example that will be the best way to know what's going on we have air volume of 20 liter on 40 meters depth what will be the new volume of the air on 25 meter depth in salt water so now I know I know that I'm in salt water I know that I'm using metric system so metric salt water then the pressure one it will be the original depth where is the original volume is it will be on 40 meter depth so I type 40 meter pressure 2 will be the desired depth where I want take this amount of air 
or to which depth the second one it will be 25 then the original volume of the air will be 20 liter now I would like to calculate so once I calculate it I have already the formula is written down and I knew that the new volume will be 28.57 liter that was a metric question let's check one imperial reset the formula to start over <clears throat> okay we have air volume of 5 copic on 130 feet what will be the new volume of the air on 80 feet depth in salt water so I know that now I'm salt water using imperial imperial salt water the first depth will be 130 feet second depth where I want to take that air it will be 80 feet the original volume is 5 copic calculate will give me the, the new volume is 7.21 okay so I will receive because I don't need it at the moment we will check this, uh, the third one the relation of pressure and density okay also please read the text so you can understand it the formula itself is already written so let's go deep into a question directly first one will be metric diver praises 4 bars per minute on 20 uh, 5 meter depth how much air the diver will press on a depth of 35 meter in salt water I know that I'm using metric and salt water so please metric salt water first then the first depth will be 25 meter where is the diver exist second depth where the diver will go it will be 35 meter okay uh, original how how um, how much how, how many bars the diver press on 24 meters is 4 bar now I would like to calculate so now I know that the diver will press more 5.14 bar per minute on the new depth will it is 35 okay I would like to know to do another one but at this time will be imperial reset Diver presses 30 psi per minute on 80 feet. How much air the diver will press on a depth of 120 feet in salt water? So again, imperial salt water. The original depth is 80 feet. Second depth is 120. Press rate is 30 psi. Calculate. I got the new result 40.62 per psi per minute okay also receipt <clears throat> the fourth is partial pressure partial pressure is very 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 important in a shortcut partial pressure is mean the behavior of the individual gas in the mixture it means that for example we have the air contains of 21% of oxygen 79% of nitrogen under pressure pressure each one of this gas will behave individually in his own that's mean if you start your dive with 21 percent of oxygen on the surface once you start to go deeper this percentage of oxygen will increase alone also the same will be with the nitrogen will increase alone so the formula also exists here it's very easy and very simple to know this one for example I would like to dive in metric salt water I want to know the, uh, the amount of uh, I'm sorry I want to know the, per, the new percentage of oxygen on 30 meter depth the gas of oxygen is 21 percent the percent original percentage calculate now I know that I have 84 percent of oxygen uh, on the depth of 30 that's why sometimes you are limited in dive depths because of the gas you press all of it is because the percentage of the gas once it's increased 
to over the limit that it's allowed for you to dive or is not safety for you to dive in this case you have to review that so please 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 it's very important that never ever exceed the maximum depth depends on your certificate and on your diving education okay that was uh, all the applications mostly Archimedes law and pressure law at the end you'll find a developer profile if you click you will find a quick information about me please if you have any question or you need help any kind of help just catch me in one of those Facebook LinkedIn YouTube you can find me anywhere at any time I will do my best to answer your questions if it's related to diving I will do my best also if it's related to programming I can also do my best it's no problem so please if anyone have a new idea uh, a new program something that maybe it will be good in the future to develop for the divers even if for just people I will be very happy if you can inform me about it and send me a message so uh, I hope that this application will be good for you and for everyone who is not that good in mathematics so now you have applications that you can use then you can focus on the other field to study so I wish you all the best enjoy diving and enjoy learning have a nice day or Sunday evening